This is the game called Atom Smasher. The purpose of this game is to reinforce the locations of the subatomic particles, the neutrons, protons, and electrons. For this game, you'll need an open playing space. Outdoors works fine as well as indoors. The materials you'll need to set up the game are, are two means of showing on the play surface that you have circles. Uh, we recommend for the outer circle that you might use a garden hose or a length of rope or chain. And the inner circle uh, can be something like a hula hoop or a smaller piece of rope or, or hose. Um, the game is very simple. Uh, as the teacher, what you'll do is just instruct your students as to where they need to be. For example, on the outer circle, uh, this will represent the location of electrons. So if you were to call out electrons, your students would have to move quickly out to uh, the outer circle and to pretend that they are indeed an electron. The inner circle then represents the nucleus of the atom, which is the location for the neutrons and the protons. So if you were to call out the name neutrons, the students would all dash to the center uh, of the center circle uh, to uh, to become a uh, neutron. So we'll get them all here as best we can. Whoops! Into the uh, center circle. So again, if you were to call out uh, electrons, the students would quickly dash to the outside and. Uh, the object of the game is just to move as quickly as you can uh, to the location uh, that you call. Uh, it's kind of fun if you uh, uh, have your students, let's say for example, out here in the electron position and you get them ready and you say, uh, let's go to electrons. Now they're already in electrons, so they'll say, ah, i got to move, so uh, they may jump in and realize they just need to stay put. Uh, another variation is that if you do call electrons and they're in the electron position, is that they have to get all the way across to another side of the circle uh, to become uh, an electron. Um, uh, you need to remind your students that it's not con uh, intended to be a contact sport and you're not trying to wipe out people as you move from location to location. If you're playing with uh, a variety of students various ages, uh, the larger students might be, uh, uh, you might have it set up where they piggyback the smaller students and dash from position to position uh, inside the circle. Have fun!